for Financial Independence. Joining us now, John Halterman with Beacon Wealth Management. How are you doing, John? I'm doing fabulous, Nikki. How about you? Doing wonderful, thank you. This week we have a question from Mary from Morgantown. She says, I'm 54 and thinking about retiring, but I'm not sure if I can. What are some things I should consider before I make that final decision? Mary, I, I love the fact that you're actually asking that question now because too many times people call me up and they'll say, hey, I want to talk to you because I'm ready to retire. And when they come in, I'll say, so tell me a little bit about what you want to do. Because the very first thing I walk through is what I call retirement visualization. You know, and what that means is how much income are you going to need in retirement? What are the sources that you're going to get this income from? What are you going to do? Because now all of a sudden you have free time. Hopefully you're healthy. And what you got to be considering is free time usually means you want to travel, have fun. So it's not always going to be less income. Sometimes people desire more income. So retirement visualization is the first thing you got to be thinking about. Uh, the second thing you got to be thinking about is an income analysis. And what I mean about that is you got to be able to say that whatever amount you need, you got to factor in, okay, where am I getting this money and how much income will come off of those types of things? Meaning like if you're getting a pension, well, there's different options. So you got to consider what your pension calculations. If you're coming from an IRA, what's the distribution rates relative to what you earn? You know, another thing you have to decide is, well, how will I manage the risk? Because now you're going to go from the accumulation phase to now the distribution phase. And so now you have to preserve the money a lot more versus focusing on just growth. Now, I got to tell you, that doesn't mean you quit growing. So lots of questions, Mary, and I'm glad you're doing this. Um, there's a checklist. And what I tell people all the time, I will be glad to provide you a checklist of, of things that we evaluate and analyze. Uh, go to our website and you'll be able to find those. But definitely important things to do now before you actually go and retire. All right, some good advice there. Thank you, John. Folks, You're if you welcome. missed any of that, you can always find it online. Don't go anywhere. Much more for you after the break.